New to the area and you haven't seen this before, this has been, it's been a while since, since we have seen this type of water, you know, coming over that balustrade and flooding Bayshore. Yeah, Courtney, if you're new to the area, let me just tell you, this is not what Bayshore normally looks like. The bay has entirely pushed into this area. We've been here since about 4 a.m. in the Tampa area, watching these floodwaters creep forward. And, you know, this white barrier here is where it's supposed to be entirely roadway. We've seen cars try to dart into these waters, and I'm here with my colleague. We're flagging people down, trying to say, hey, you know, in the early morning hours when the sun isn't up like it, it is right now. It's hard to see that area, and that's why it's so important, so, so important to heed the precautions, the evacuations, stay off the roads. And the area that we're in right now, so the building to my left here, this is TGH's transplant center, and over here is the uh, one way entry and uh, exit to Davis Islands here for this area. And so we'll pan over just to show you how severe the flooding is here. And these waters are impassable for vehicles to get through and when we were going through at maybe 5 5 30 this morning we went back over to davis islands and had to take a quick u-turn right back to get back over to this area before first responders close that road off entirely we're seeing these waters inch their way closer and closer towards us tampa police department they've had a heavy presence for all of these roads that run perpendicular here to bayshore boulevard it's uh, when we were over that that way maybe an hour two hours ago it was at least a block flooded i wouldn't be surprised if it's even more now seeing how aggressive the water has encroached in this area here so far now i reached out to the tampa emergency operations center and their message right now is it's not safe for their crews to be driving through this mess so they don't have the best assessment of the damage so even if it seems like the weather here isn't too severe that does not mean that it is safe for you to be out and about trying to take your car through these waters. So their message is please stay home. Wait until emergency officials give the all clear for you to be venturing out here in this area because waters this high could ruin your car. Could also put you in a position where you might not be able to get the help of first responders if they're not able to get to you safely. Malik. Yeah, Courtney. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Malik, right behind you, it looks like cars are actually having to turn around because they're realizing the just how yeah. deep the water is. And that's, you know, the exit coming off Davis Islands, right? Yeah, so the exit for Davis Islands is impassable. It's underwater. We went near that area and turned around. Uh, it was at least, oh, I would say, six inches tall. So if you're if you're on Davis Islands right now, you're you're not getting off. Well, so and that's what is that what's is that, that area? Is that what's happening behind you? Because we so can see what's these over here. It, yeah, so Courtney, there's a couple of other news crews here. Uh, so that's probably the vehicles that we're seeing here. But you can see that water splashing over here. There were uh, first responders in this area blocking off the entry and exit. Uh, media are given a little bit of leeway as long as we're getting to safe areas. So that's likely what these vehicles are doing here. But for you at home, stay at home. We're out in these conditions so that you don't have to be, so that your cars don't get stuck, and so you're not testing your luck in water that's just a bit too high to be driving through. Now, Malik, um, I, I know that you guys have been able to make your way around a little bit. Um, you've been pretty locked down there on Bayshore. Have you been able to drive farther south? So uh, I know that the communities like a block in off Bayshore, the neighborhoods off Bayshore um, are seeing, you know, high water right there as well. But driving south, I'm thinking of like Ballast Point and those areas, those, you know, where some of the houses are actually flat right there. Yeah. And, you know, um, they're not lifted. Um, and, you know, the concern. Yeah, I mean, we've already seen some of the flooding impacts as these waters come up. I mean, where one of the last locations we were at just off of Swan, there was water rushing up to homes. We could see they had their sandbags, they had their tarps up, but that water was really pushing up against them, testing the luck as to what that's going to keep out. So we'll be continuing to go around the Tampa area, checking for flood levels in here. Uh, but with Bayshore, obviously, we're kind of just going in and out of the side streets with what's accessible and what's safe for our crews. And just to be clear, Malik, you you cannot get off of Davis Islands or on to Davis Islands. Can you get off? Well, right now, it, well, it's blocked both ways, but when okay. we took a quick adventure back and forth there and uh, got a bit of a look at some of the flooding there, you can get there, 
uh, without dealing with flooded waters. It's now closed because you cannot get out without dealing with flooded waters. Oh, it's just it. because the entry into Davis Island is a little bit more elevated than the exit. Thank it's you for painting us this picture gosh, too. I mean, white gosh, caps behind jaw you. dropping behind you to see. Coming over the balusters oh, like that. The storm surge. I know. Here, I'll step out. Hannah can zoom in here so you guys can really take a look at these waves just crashing, and I'll send it back to you guys in the studio while you get a good look at that. Just unbelievable. We talked about the storm surge before. We've talked about it during the storm as well. And as the sun has come come up, you've, now you you see are now it. really able to see. And this is just. For South, this is just in South Tampa, right, right here that we're looking at. You know, the the bay coming up um, right. over the balustrades, and then even going farther south there in a safe area, right there, Hannah and Malik are. Um, but this is this is some of it, and and Bobby, we said what five feet of storm surge right there. Yeah, yeah, it's about four and a half to five feet in Tampa Bay, uh, and it's slowing down now, but the tide's coming up. Oh, so okay. it's kind of oh, you know, gotcha. a horse of peace, I guess they would okay, say, right? I see what you're saying. Um, and, but you can see how very choppy it is. That's with the water that's blowing. So that's another thing we talk about storm surge. It's not just flat water. Right. There's waves got, on top yeah. of that as well, and that can do more damage. So seven, say you got a five foot storm surge. Well, it's actually six or seven because of the waves Back on top. The waves. And and the waves are moving with some force too, even more so than the regular one. Oh, here we go. So this is our Tampa camera. I'm going to drive you around here so you can see a little bit. If you see, you see TGH on the left, mm -hmm. okay, the bridge She's under connected that. to that. Malik was on the right side of that looking mm -hmm. towards TGH. And then when you just noticed, they just panned to the right and we saw that bridge you see at the top of the screen. So all that real choppy water is in between those two bridges. And look down at the bottom of the screen. That's Bayshore Boulevard. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's Platte Street Bridge. Yep. At the very bottom, going to the left, over towards the convention center. That's to go downtown. That's, that's to go downtown. That's, that's exactly that little right. area too, where they'd have the pirate ship, right? That, that little, little cut square out there. you yeah. see there on the right, right-hand side. Yep, this little area right here is where they kind of put the put the uh, the pirate ship. But you can see all of this water that's down here on Bayshore is just it's just flooded. And now you get up a little bit more here. Let's go. We we actually just had. An officer parked here and was turned. You saw those the black car and the white car that were doing the U-turns. Yeah. They there was an officer right where I just zoomed in. He turned them around. They oh, went good. back. They do. They did go off of the island. Okay. Are you able to? Oh, it's a little tough to see. I think because TGH blocks it. I was wondering if there was a picture that kind of we could see of Davis Islands because people. Oh, are absolutely. Probably trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me zoom that out here. Because uh, people are probably seeing flooding in. In their neighborhoods on Davis Island. It's tough to, I can't see that yeah. because of all the trees. But I mean, let, let, let me just zoom in here. Look at the white caps just off of uh, Derek Jeter's old house. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We're just, you're not going to call right. your buddy Jeter? TB12. <laughs> TB12's house right there. His former house. Yeah. Uh, oh, you, yeah. Look at the white caps. That. That, is, that is in Tampa Bay, guys. And this is what, when you're walking along Bayshore Boulevard, exercising, that type of thing. Um, that's what that's what you're looking at. Let me let me zoom out here a little bit more. I want to take you a big picture, so I'm going to go over here uh, down to Jackson's because the water level is very high over there as well as well. American Social and Jackson's that's oh. over on Harbor Island, and I, they've done. You know, if you've ever been over there, sometimes they've done things. I know they did a silent disco out there. They have this cement area that, that the boats actually dock up to, and that's underwater. That's right there in the yep. center of your screen. I mean, it's not terrible that it's not in a position that it's making too many issues, but there's a parking garage under there. Mm, sure. And I got to imagine that's, that's got a lot of water, water in yeah. it right now. Oh, you can you see can people see, out and about. Yeah, yeah, you can see people out checking it out as well. Um, I'm going to kind of go out fast here because I want to take a look at the big picture that we see here. It's nice uh, that we're able to have th this this view of the waters as well. Yeah. Well, you know, we've been waiting we for daylight. For, but you, the surge started really around four in the morning, really getting getting troublesome, really. Uh, and it's kind of peaking now. It, it's going to hang out a little bit where it's at, and then it will start to fall apart. All right. Now, I'm going to take you. What do I got next? I think I'm going to go to Mahaffey Theater now. Oh, wow. So let's go downtown St. Petersburg. That's Third Street. All right, so the, this is from the Mahaffey Theater. The Dolly Museum is behind the camera here. And if you were watching earlier, 
you can see that white line in the water there. See the park bench on the left? Mm -hmm. To the right of that, there's a sidewalk, and then there's that white line you see there. That white line is the seawall. And so oh. for the longest time, okay. that seawall was holding the water back, right. and clearly uh, it hasn't been able to do that at this particular point. Yeah, like four in the morning you showed us this, and it was yes. probably just at the seawall, maybe. Yes, and exactly. Now uh, as I was scanning early, I kind of went by pretty quickly, and I did not see any issues with boats, although I know there has to be some. But if you notice the palm trees, uh, it's not a terrible wind that's out there. You, kn you know, Neil Fisher, who's in Sarasota, he pointed out the boats because they had boats that had broken away. So you know we're going to see some of that probably. Looking here, though, I'm not, are we seeing? Uh, okay, so here's some, some folks that are parking over here, and they're in the water. I mean, that's not deep. That's about four or five inches of water or so right in there. But it cover, if you look off in the distance under those trees on the left, I mean, that's pretty much underwater as well, too. Now, we'll come back here past the boats. And top of your screen right now is that art exhibit that's all lit up, the big net. Most okay, so of the boats... Out toward the pier here? Is that yep, yep, that's exactly what we're doing. We're going down towards the pier. It's going to be on the right-hand side. Most of the boats look okay to me. Haven't seen too many issues. The pier's fine. The pier was built for this. They, they did a good job with that one. Um, but there's going to be some debris in the water. Mm -hmm. actually, is that a boat out there? It, it looks, looks like yeah. someone's... It does look somebody like Somebody out there. It might be the wow. Coast Guard. Uh, but let, I wanted to swing this around because this is going over to Albert Witt at airport here. Well, Bobby, as you swing it around, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking, you know, we're still going to see a little bit more water, correct? Yeah. I, I, I think we're, we're really close. Okay. We're really close to seeing the most that we're going to see. Uh, you can see it's pushing off with some water right in here. Now, if you're familiar with the Formula One race that we have, the St. Saint Saint Pete Grand Prix, this stretch of road you see there did have water on it earlier, and that's one of the turns that we have. And now I'm going to come all the way back towards where the Dali is. It's a big corner here. There are those red and white stripes from the, the mm, St. Pete Grand yeah, Prix. And Bobby, you can see there's still water on the road here. Is the water going to leave as quickly as it's risen? <sighs> no, you know what? I, it came up gradually over about a three-hour period, yeah. maybe four. You know, I mean, there was That's a period true. there where it was a, the rate was a little bit higher in that one particular hour. Um, but the wind is holding the water. The wind overall is coming down, so it will come down. But the wind's not going to die right away, so it's only going to it'll hold a certain amount, and then it'll kind of stay there for a little bit, and then gradually it'll be coming down. We expect these. You can look at the lower right-hand corner of the screen. You can see the radar there. We expect to see uh, showers in the area for the, the better part of the afternoon here, and and that's all with the southwest wind. You can see the angle that they're coming through. So yeah, we've got uh, we've got still got some water left over. It it looks like in St. Pete here it has peaked. But you can see all the water out in front of the dolly. The dolly, I'm going to zoom out here. You're going to see it. Ah, oh, that's right. The pole. Oh, look at that. That's right there behind that <laughs> Convenient. pole. Convenient. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But I don't see any major damage. No, no major yeah. wind damage, right? And we weren't expecting a lot. Uh, it's water. It's going to be more than anything else for us.